And now I would like to introduce Adam Grabart, valedictorian for the class of 2015. This is real. All right. Mr. Bishop, fellow graduates, honored guests, and others, good evening and Shabbat Shalom. Mom and Dad, thank you for running through times tables, re reviewing American history as presented by the great Gary B. Nash, and even making a crocodile costume for my third grade production of The Elephant's Child. We, as students, do not outwardly appreciate the 18 years of energy, effort, and sacrifice that you and all the parents of the class of 2015 have put into our lives. But trust me, we have and will continue to be grateful. Teachers, thank you for enabling me to think logically and divergently, to learn all sorts of skills, and in instilling in me in the ability of some of these things which include writing legibly and eloquently, understanding the fall of the Weimar Republic, comprehending chemistry and calculus, and la habilidad de traducir esta parte del discurso al español. You have truly empowered my fellow graduates and I since 2002. Rachel, thank you for being a great sister and best friend in the entire world, and Jenna for being my closest confidant and partner in crime I never thought I deserved. Borrowing from my experience, I recognize that throughout the last four years, we have collectively endured foundational upheaval, familial loss, unexpected circumstances, and shifts in how we view ourselves, our families, our friends, and our lives. Tonight, come hell or high water, we are he here to say a hearty mazel tov for you and your accomplishments. Sitting with a band way out in the corner over there over the years, I've heard an interpretation of Mayan Apocalypse, a Mikula's spin on Slaughterhouse-Five, and an ideology that one could only call Moedism. When I came home last year, however, my grandma made the most striking comment. She viewed valedictorians as pedantic orators who pretend to have wisdom and life experience. Of course, she was not there to hear Demi, Tyler, and Olivia's great speeches, and so she said, what wisdom, what life experience? Fortunately, for most of my life, I lived alongside four amazing individuals who endured war against Nazi Germany, the quagmire of Vietnam, and the rise of the internet. Therefore, Grandma, the only wisdom I wish to, pro I wish to provide tonight is that which I learned from you. So let's start with Norma. In the 21st century, it is so difficult to absorb the full power of conversation without a ping, ding, or ring-a-ling coming from some device. You, in contrast, root yourself in the past, not to regress or regret, but rather expand upon this foundation to learn and march into a brighter future, giving of yourself and your experience to others. You showed me that we, as human beings, construct time to quantify our success and failure. But in essence, a singular conversation, trip to the beach, car ride with the great Frank Sinatra playing, or cone of mint chocolate chip ice cream can be as powerful as a wedding or funeral. By listening and reaching out as necessary, we can rely on the rich base of counsel all around us to sustain ourselves and thereby the community. With Nana, or Annette on the other hand, the best times to be had are in action. With any time, lifetime transition, people will tell you to be yourself. But Annette Graubart is a woman who embodies this maxim to a point that it defies its cliche nature. Expressing her concern in any circumstance that troubles her sense of self or ethical grounds, Annette flips this expression on his head. She is not just being herself, she is not being like others. At any campus, apartment complex, workplace, or military base, yes, you will encounter people who like Netflix, working out, and listen to Beyonce. Rather, be the one who reads the print newspaper, or the one who goes to Fenway Park in a Yankee jersey. 
or quiz pastrami on pizza. We must be ourselves, be assertive, and not accept the Michigas that others put in our way. Danny, or Papa, was a lifelong learner, growing exponentially passionate about Zionism, Hebrew, Poughkeepsie, and the Graubart family tree with each passing day. Granted, I would not steer you wrong. Listening to him talk about this substantial knowledge base was taxing at times. Nevertheless, his energy to investigate interest into old age and his disassociation from the assumption that he had learned all he needed once he graduated was inspiring. Danny proved that scholars do thrive outside the ivy-clad buildings at America's most prestigious universities. If that was not enough for you, perhaps the greatest piece of wisdom I received from Papa was that for any moment, joyous, tragic, or mundane, there is an ABBA song to go along with it. In his day, Arnie, or Grandpa, wore many hats as engineer, father, grandfather, and occasionally imaginary circus ringleader. And with each endeavor, he exerted a full effort. He taught me not to work for the sake of a trophy, higher status, or a speech at the end of four years. Rather, success is in the eye of the beholder, as much as beauty is. And in a region of the world where st stature and accolades are emphasized as we approach ceremony after ceremony, we must reflect, as Arnie did, asking, are we looking back at our, our ideal self? Are we setting goals that others want us to accomplish or seeking the life we truly want to succeed, to achieve? As Arnie was a fan of the New York Mets, he experienced plenty of dismay in his life. However, despite his inevitable, inevitable temper, he was rarely perpetually disappointed in himself. As the children of four immigrants, these individuals sought the best for themselves, their children, and now their grandchildren. With Norma's presence, Annette's ambition, Danny's studiousness, and Arnie's determination, we too, without doubt, must find the blessed life that awaits us. Thank you.